from Milwaukee. Cordless mag draw. Now, I've worked on these ones before. These are one of the better Milwaukee machines. That's a handy piece of kit there. A cordless magnetic drill. Oh, she's fairly, fairly slack. Doesn't want to go. isn't attached at all. Not even that doesn't took out all the bolts. What's that for? Where did that go? Uh huh. Micro switch down in here. Gauge is that, and this handle is stripped out, so it's not engaging right. See what I mean? So that is not putting this lever up. Let's see if we can test this without that magnet. Use a piece of cardboard to engage that switch. Nah, no good. Still just clicking. Motor is free enough now. Nah. Right, back to this one. It's a Milwaukee magnetic drill, cordless one. New motor on for it. So we get those swapped out and changed over. Surprisingly enough, these actually aren't that all that bad to change. Like it is doable if you wanted to try it. Oh, there is red on a black wire screwed onto the top, and one connector. And that's it. Just obviously get the positive and negative in the right place. Watch the fingies. Sometimes they can snap on. It's not so bad.
I wouldn't really be a big fan of this type of motor configuration because at the end of the day it's only these six screws that clamp this armature in place so it's only just two halves coming together to square up the armature on a brushless motor if the housing, plastic housing isn't perfect if there's any variation or any unevenness that armature is going to rub and burn out the motor I've seen a lot of these Milwaukee drills and SDS drills, the 28 volt ones same thing and housings are bad straight from the manufacturer you also need your on off switch Now there's a whole backstory behind this machine now. It was sent in by a fella that took it out of a skip. After having it up on TikTok here, somebody else got in contact because you could see the markings on the machine to say that it was theirs and it was actually stolen from a site. It wasn't the boy that sent the machine in, he was honest enough, he just Happened to have found it and sent it on. I recovered then from TikTok because they were able to identify it. They sent me on then the pictures of the actual machine on their site with the same markings and the same serial numbers and the seats and all for it. It was definitely their machine like but they had to claim it back again then. I was actually kind of lucky for the fella that first sent it in because he was only priced for putting the motor onto the thing. He was a wee bit weary about spending that kind of money anyway. But he decided to go ahead of it and then this whole thing kicked off then so he's obviously not paying to get it fixed anymore now. But it was handy enough because whenever I took it on the motor wasn't running so I just assumed it's just the motor. He has the rest of the bits and pieces for it. But he doesn't. This here's the actual winding handle mechanism. That's all missing, and all the pins. Handle missing at the back too, and all the bolts are all missing on it. So there's loads of other bits needed in this. It would have actually cost him a fortune to get it fixed up properly. So we've been paying 400 quid to begin with. Then we're gonna more money there on top of it. her up and running but she's not actually finished yet the handle for the magnet is actually stripped out it fits into a bolt at the back of here so that's gone the replacement I've got is a wee stubby type must be for a newer one that's no good for this one plus all these screws are missing and all the screws down here holding the magnets all missing there are a few other wee bits and pieces missing on it, but this is the main thing. This here handle for actually raising and lowering the motor and the spindles on it as well. They're all missing as well. These here bolts are missing too. So yeah, a few more bits need to order. Just wanted to make sure the motor worked first before I went and ordered more stuff because I'm already out a couple of hundred ordering these here parts. So that's up and running. So I'll get these parts here now. As soon as I know it can be fixed. Last thing now, that was also missing the handle that had to be replaced as well. That's her ready to go.
that's a job one stolen drill repaired and going back to its original owner not often you get a wee good luck story like that